Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rydium Axel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to develop a shader cache for your completely legally obtained version of Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U in CMU. If you don't know what a shader cache is, but you've tried to play Super Smash Bros. 4 in CMU before and had lag issues, well, that's why. Basically, as you play, CMU has to develop its own shader cache of the different shadings going on in the game as you do them. So when you do something for the first time or when something happens for the first time, it has to save that into the shader cache and that way it will not lag later. But while it's going on, since it has to save that shader cache, you're going to get quite a few lag spikes, especially when you first play the game. And this is present for every single character since they all have different shaders that are applied to them. So first, we can take a look at the shader cache that I have right now. All you need to do is go to your CMU folder and go to shader cache and then pre-compiled. And I can tell that it's this one right here because I've looked into it before. And I've developed mine a little bit, but it's still not completely done. So I'm just going to be showing you how to develop it a bit more. Mine is already 40 megabytes. And there are some that you can get online that are already pre-compiled by other people, but none of them are very well developed at all. The one that I looked at was only 15 megabytes in size, which means that it must not have had a lot on it. So let's start up Super Smash Brothers. And as you can see, I have 918 shaders cached so far. And I'm going to show you the method that I use to be able to cache more. Now this will take a fair amount of free time, but at the end you're going to end up getting a pretty smoothly playing game. So if I can go to 8 player smash, my general uh, my general method is I'll go up here, set the time to infinite, and then we're going to go to the item switch, all on on high because we want all of the different animations that can happen to happen. Set your character to a CPU. Go to level nine for that and do the same for all the others. Now, all you wanna do is start the fight and go to some stage. You might wanna do something like the Mario circuit or Luigi's Mansion, something with animations instead of just Battlefield. So I'll go to the Mario circuit, and you just want to let this run pretty much. So what is going to happen, since it's all a bunch of level 9 uh, CPUs, you're going to be able to run a lot of different shaders and get a much, much larger cache by just letting this run for... 10 or 20 minutes at a time per group of people. You might want to let it run for even longer because you want to have their smash balls done. That's a lot of very unique shaders that are going on right there. So I'm just going to let this run for a while and the longer you let it, let it run, the smoother the game is going to get. All right, so now it's ran for a little while, and we can tell it is considerably smoother than when we first started, with still a few tiny lag spikes here and there. I haven't let it run for probably as long as I could have, but we can now take a look at our shader cache's size again, and let's see if it updates live while the game is running. No, it doesn't look like it's going to update until I close it, so... I'll just save to the title real quick or end the battle and then I'll close CMU. So we're back at the shader cache here and we can see that it's grown by like six megabytes or so just from that little while and I was maybe just watching them fight for three, four minutes. So if you were to let it run for longer per group of people, you might have better results. Also, you might want to turn off a few of the more useless items. 
I'm not sure exactly how it works in Super Smash Bros. 4, but it's possible that turning off some items will make the frequency of the others a little bit faster. Again, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, but it's worth a try. Anyway, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this could help you out with trying to figure out a way to get your dang game to work smoothly, because I was getting really annoyed when I first booted it up. I'm like, why why won't this run smoothly? But then I remembered to myself, you need to establish the shader caches before you think that it's even going to attempt to run smoothly. So, hope I could help you out. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.